Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to unbox two items from Hermes. Um, actually three, but one already open, so just two items. Also, I want to share with you guys what happened in Hermes before and after that why I stopped buying Hermes for like the last two years or so. Okay, the first thing, which is already open, is this. Perfume. They don't have the perfume, so I got this toilette. Yeah. I bought this for my husband. This smells really good on him, and I thought mm, it matches him very well. What I like about this also, it's also the first time I'm seeing this. Like, this is closed, and you open up like this, and then you can use the perfume just like that. Which I think quite cool. Lah. You don't have an extra cap because I know that there are some people who collect perfume and the bottles, the caps are, is like a thing. To me, it's interesting. Lah. Yeah, just like that. I, I find this very convenient. Okay, and the, this is 100 ml. I find this smell very sexy on my husband, so I thought like, okay, maybe I should just buy you one so that I can smell it all day. So now number two is this item. This is Hermes Christmas packaging for 2022. Let me just open it up. Then you will see the original orange. Okay. Number three is this one. This is the long one with the Christmas box. Ah, also inside is packed in this orange guy. But this one don't have a ribbon with it. This one is straight up like this. Now I'll tell you guys what happened between us and Hermes a while ago. I always have this thing about the Birkin. Actually, I think most people who like luxury items or this Hermes Chanel thing, you guys know Hermes as a game where you have to buy all those rubbish that you don't exactly need. Like example, bracelet, bangles, clothes, small leather goods, shoes. You have to hit a certain amount before you can Tell them, hey, I want a Birkin in this color, I want that in this color, the constants and everything. Because of the game, <sighs> I tried. I regularly go to Hermes, buy their perfume, buy their twillies. I think I also bought my husband some card holder, just like a piece of leather kind. And also a bracelet or something. And then one day, I decided to cut the chase. I text my SA at that time uh, from Takashimaya. I asked him, why don't you just tell me straight up how much do I have to spend before I can ask for a Birkin? Because I don't want to, don't know, and then I keep spending and then you tell me that, oh, that customer is longer, that blah blah blah, all this kind of stupid excuses. So instead of texting back the answer, he called me. He told me that I have to spend 16000 before I am entitled to ask for a Birkin. 16,000. And I was like, oh, okay, I bought two bags and uh, some accessories. I, sh I should be quite close. Just maybe a couple more pairs of shoes. All things should be done. No, bags are not included. So th at that time, there were so many rules. What he told me was 16,000 for small leather goods, kept at 5,000. So for 11,000, you have to buy clothes, household items like cushion, plates, cups, all these kind of things. I find that extremely annoying, but I want to try to at least try to get a Birkin and see for myself whether I really want one. And then something quite frustrating happened. We went over, okay, like regular, trying to get some items here and there, see t-shirts, see shoes. My husband was also very accommodating. He went with me, tried to buy something so that I can accumulate. 
Then we both set our eyes on this HAC50 full black leather. My god, I thought that would be so sexy when we travel, it would be like a good luggage for a hand carry. But over there has a tag that says for display only, not for sale. Okay, fine. I told him if you guys have the stock for this HAC50 full black leather, please just call me let me know how much more i have to spend before i can get this back of course he said yeah sure let me tell you in hermes they will tell you sure we'll take down your number we'll take down your name and then when the item comes we'll give you a call and all this but you will never receive a call from them it will never happen that's why i tried to build the relationship with my sa then one week later i told my husband i like this pair of shoes let's go have a look this time around when we went over to hermes to try the boots i noticed the hac 50 is gone and I asked my essay, I said, what happened to that bag? He said, oh, one of our regulars bought it. I was kind of frustrated. That happened a couple of years back already. Anyway, I heard that essay already left. So this time around, we went back to Hermes in MBS because I want to get my husband the perfume. I make my way back into Hermes. This time around in Hermes, I think that essay gave my husband a very good impression remember to like and subscribe to my channel it'd be a great motivation thank you yeah so i let you guys see what are the two bags that i bought first is this the picotin in orange i always take out the lock and i put a pillow inside so that it keeps its shape this is the orange one I really like this orange one i think this is the 22 definitely no <laughs> this is the 18. there you go this one I took out one of the Tweety for the Chanel bag <laughs> So this one is the one with gold hardware According to my friend, this is actually rare And also the Hermes in MBS has one of this on display Also again, on display only So I was like thinking, wow, okay And I was told that this one is like a collector's item Because of the gold hardware and the colour To me, I just find this very convenient The Picotins are very very convenient I bring the big one to go for movies Surprisingly, I can put in my jacket and all those rubbish that I always carry along And this one is good when I go for like do my nails or just dinner, something small Comment down below if you also met all this kind of weird game rules where you have to spend a certain amount before you can get a bag that you want Alright, that's all for today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!